Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video we are going to make a magnetic stirrer. It will be very nice, very beautiful magnetic stirrer, but also it will be very easy to make. So let's start to make our project. First of all, I need a uh, cooler fan here. As you see, I just snipped off the blades of the DC motor and uh, this type, this form of the DC motor will be very useful for us to make our magnetic stirrer. Now, I am going to uh, use these uh, pieces of uh, neodymium magnets and I will just uh, put stick these two neodymium magnets uh, on here to make our magnetic stir. I'm going to use super glue to stick the neodymium magnets on the C motor. I will just um, drop one drop, just very little, not too much. And I will put uh, my magnets I stick the first one now I am going to uh, stick the other one but you have to be careful about this the distance between the magnets uh, should be equal and the magnets should be uh, positioned just in front of each other be careful about that my friend I think that's fine. Now just put a little bit super glue. Okay, we just stick the neodymium magnets on the DC motor. Don't forget that the polarity of the uh, neodymium magnets should be vice versa. This one is north and this one is south. So if they are uh, same, it will not work very well. So they should be vice versa. Now I will let them a little bit dry. And after that, we will continue to make our project, my friends. Okay, my friends, now I need a voltage regulator. I am going to make my own voltage regulator. I will show you step by step how you can make your own voltage regulator for making my uh, voltage regulator i am going to use rfi z 44n uh, integrated unit and the other parts i will show you step by step and also i need a 50k um, potassiometer it's here and also i need a 10k uh, resistor and some cables of course now i am going to connect the components to make my voltage regulator as you see i connect two pieces wired to uh, this pin of the potassiometer these two wires will be uh, negative for output and the input my friends now i will connect my 10k resistor to the middle uh, pin of the potassiometer I will connect the resistor to this pin of the integrated unit. And I will connect this uh, cable to the middle pin of the integrated. I will connect the cable to this pin. And one more cable. I will connect this cable to here. Okay, my friends, our voltage regulator is ready. Now let me tell you how it's work. This cable is for positive input and one of this cable is for a uh, negative input. And one of this cable is for negative output and this one is for positive output. So I will uh, give uh, <coughs> voltage to the, these two cables and these two cables will be, will be output for my, for my voltage regulator. Now let's test our voltage regulator if it, if it works or not. Now I will uh, connect this uh, positive input. And the negative input. Okay, I have my multimeter here. 
connect the positive and the negative. Turn the voltage mode. See, our voltage regulator is working very well. It's zero volt. Now it's increase. To uh, 14 volt. Okay, my friends, our voltage regulator is ready to use. Now also let's try with our uh, DC motor. This is a uh, positive. And this is negative. As you see, it works very well. Now I will connect my DC motor to my voltage regulator. This is the um, positive one and this is the negative one I will connect my DC motor to the output of my voltage regulator my friends now I'm going to use this plastic box for the case for my uh, magnetic stirrer that's very nice to make a magnetic stirrer now I'm going to uh, make a hole here for my potassiometer just make a small hole here okay just like this it will be fine for my potassiometer now i'm going to just make a small hole here for uh, my input cables just a little one okay it's small now it's time to put everything into this plastic box okay first of all i'm going to uh, put my voltage regulator my main part of my voltage regulator. For this, I'm going to use my hot glue. Just put it inside it, just into the middle. Put it into the middle of the box. And I am going to uh, put my potassiometer in this hole. We'll just put it here and use some hot glue to uh, stable it. I'm going to use some more hot glue to make it more stable. I'm going to take out these two cables for my uh, input. And I'm going to use again my hot glue. Okay. Now it's time to put my DC motor into the box. And again, I'm going to use a little bit hot glue. Not too much. And just fit inside it. Just like this, my friend. Okay, my friend, before I close the lid again, I will just stick everything together. I will stick the uh, DC motor into the box very well. Again, using my hot glue. as you see okay now wait until it's dry 
And after that, now I am going to close the lid of my box and okay my friends our magnetic store is ready to use this is the uh, input for my power supply and this is the potassiometer to for my uh, voltage regulator and now we are going to test our uh, magnetic stirrer my friends as you see it looks like it's very nice very beautiful magnetic stirrer it looks very nice okay my friends now it's time to test our magnetic stirrer i have a uh, glass of water here and i am going to put my stirrer inside it and just turn on my stirrer see my friend how well it can stir the water very well you can uh, with the help of a uh, regulator you can regulate uh, the power of the magnetic stirrer see that's pretty good And that's pretty awesome, right? So you see how fast it can start. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friends.